Okay, I'm still working with the Nathan Stubblefield coil and I'm redoing it for like the fourth time. And Laser Saber has posted four videos showing how to do this. And so I went ahead and ordered the parts to do it correctly. And while I was waiting, I tried out a few things that uh, I needed to try just to see if the principle worked. And this is uh, wired up and running exactly the way Laser Saber um, has it. The problem is I don't have enough windings on here. I don't have the right core and uh, I don't have a very good bearing surface right here on the rotor part of it. But it is something to sh demonstrate uh, what's going on here and it does wire up exactly like he shows this in his, in his videos. The way this is wired is the inside uh, copper wire to the outside steel wire. And these two other ones are just left open. And uh, like I say, this uh, doesn't really work exactly. I'm having to help it with energy in a supercapacitor. But I wanted to show uh, everybody that's working on this that this is possible. This can be done. And I just have to get the right parts and spend the time and wind the right coil. But I'm going to turn this on. You'll be able to see this run here. Got a radio here so you can hear it. And like I say, the circuit uh, is exactly like he said. It comes out of the copper and the plus, goes through the reed switch, and then back into the steel wire is the negative. And the electromagnet is the coil. And the coil is a galvanic battery between the uh, steel and copper. And I just had to make a some copper covered wire as best I could with shoelace material and regular bare copper wire but it did give us the effect I wanted to show was uh, the circuit and this running motor. Now I'm going to pull the super capacitor out and show you that if you don't have enough windings here you'll still be generating current but it's not enough to keep that rotor going. So let me pull this off here. You hear the radio? It stops it stopped firing. Now I'm going to hook up just without the capacitor. You can hear it still fire, but it's not enough to keep it going. That's going to stop. That this firing that you're hearing on the radio is the energy going through that reed switch and sparking. Like I said, I just don't have a big enough coil, I don't have enough windings and enough metal to make this self-sustain. But with a little help from my friend the supercapacitor, I can make it happen. Oh, just back up here. And like I say, this is a water.